inside the Funnel Building 101 family. You know, I only bring the dopest people doing the dopest things. And today, <laughs> I've got uh, a good friend, a good friend. Her name is Anne Marie Benna. Now, hey. Anne Marie, hey, hey. Now, <laughs> Anne Marie Benna. She is an interactive marketing and experience design expert, and she helps businesses design uh, strategies that will connect, convert, and retain customers. She runs a, she has a podcast. Yeah, a podcast. I love podcasts, by the way. And hers is called the Tribe Secrets Podcast, where, she, where when you listen to her podcast, she, she, where you'll discover the secrets used by small business owners to grow their tribe and increase their income. And every month she holds workshops on customer acquisition. And that's what we're going to have her talk about with us a little bit today. But I want to welcome Anne-Marie. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. So, so before we get started, just Give us a, a little thumbnail version of yourself. Introduce yourself to everyone. Okay, thanks for that um, brief introduction, by the way. So, hi guys, my name is Anne Marie, and I'm a customer acquisition specialist. I, mm -hmm. my background is actually in corporate, so I used to work as a business analyst. Um, and whilst on the job, I was working with customer avatars um, a lot. So it was an insurance company, and basically, before we had any prepositions, we would define the avatar of who that preposition was for. Um, and then a few years down the line, I decided, um, you know, I'm going to give this online magazine a try. And when I came on the scene, the online scene, I saw that, you know, people were talking about the exact same thing I used to do in mm. corporate. But, you know, there was it was a little bit different. So I thought, you know what, this is exactly what I do on a daily basis at work, you know. But I saw that there were quite a few things missing from what you know the other marketers were talking about. So I came in with my own um, spin of customer acquisitions based on you know the things I discovered whilst doing that on my on my day job. Um, yeah, so I, I ran with that. Um, I started talking about it on my podcast, um, and then I started learning more about marketing online and making offers and yeah basically here we are today i started um, my interactive marketing and design agency as well um, on the back of that where i help small business owners as well as local businesses basically design interactive marketing strategies um, mm -hmm. that helps them convert connect um, first of all with their potential audiences and ultimately convert and then retain them as um, reoccurring um, customers. Ah, ah, so you take them and make them into reoccurring customers. Well, I I would want to know because I you, you've got a unique spin on it um, from what's in the market already. What What's meant by, can you kind of walk us through or explain the, the interactive part of the marketing? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, what we have right now, or what we've had for quite some time is what's this is known as interruptive marketing. So you just get interrupted. So for example, you're on your Facebook feed or your Instagram feed and you're interrupted by an ad or something. But, and then when people get to your landing page, you know, it's just like a, either a VSL or, you know, just text-based sales letters. Um, but interactive marketing is where, you know, the marketing was shifting to. In terms of, you, if you notice more marketing today, it's, um, you know, you see people put up posts like, if I have XXX, if you're interested in this, um, let me know or come into my DMs. So a lot of the marketing these days is a lot more interactive. So the spin that we have on it is rather than, you know, just interrupting people on their feeds, when they get into your website, how do you interact with them? How do you get to know more about your customers? or your buyers before they even come into your funnel. So that's where the whole interactive um, marketing comes in. And it's about, you know, just talking to them whilst they're right there. So one of the ways we do that is with interactive videos. And mm. that's it. That's fairly a fairly new technology in terms of it was previously reserved for like the big 
marketing companies or the, the guys with deep pockets. But now, mm. you know, such technologies are available to smaller business owners and that's what we help them incorporate. So for example, um, we just recently worked with a client where we put up on their pop-up. So, you know, like a pop-up when someone's about to leave your page, mm-hmm. you get either take a 10% discount or sign up for our newsletters. We don't do that. So what we do is instead we put an interactive video that says, hey, I see you're about to leave. Um, tell me why you're here today. And then they get options and your customer or your potential buyer can basically interact with your videos and tell you, this is why I'm here today, or this is what I need from you. And you can basically funnel them down to something that's more tailored for them that way. Um, another way is of course through quizzes, which more mm. people know about quizzes. Um, but what um, we do specifically is um, interactive videos. Ah, ah I like that. So and you're... It, it, you're, it basically, it, in, mm-hmm. sorry, it basically increases the stick rate. So what we're after is a stick rate because, you know, it costs so much to just get the attention of the customer because there's so much noise going on. So we want that once we've gotten that attention, we want to do everything possible to make them stick and basically letting go of the old just pop-ups or newsletters or 10% coupon discounts but moving into interactions because um, studies have shown that, you know, customers prefer brands that are interactive with them. For example, when you go on Amazon, Amazon automatically tells you what, you know, what other people have bought based on what, what you're buying. You know, Netflix tells you what other people have watched based on what you're watching. So that's mm. also a form of interactive marketing that's been used by these big brands. So for small businesses, customers also expect that level of interaction with them. And that's basically what we try to incorporate with these videos. Ah, what others have recommended. That's a big thing. That is a super big thing when you go to uh, these major retailers. And it's like, uh, okay, well, we see that you're interested in, or yeah. or maybe you're interested in something here, and that's a big difference uh, from sending them to a page where they just have so much to see and they really don't uh, have any idea where to go. Yeah, yeah. You basically it's like it's like they're coming into your store and your salesman or sales rep is meeting them at the door and telling them basically what do you want? You know, this is what you can do. This is what we've got for you, um, which is your preference. So yeah, that's the whole idea behind it. Ah, that's 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 nice. I like the idea of having a video on a on an exit pop. Yeah. I always I love talking about how. Uh, the uh, the sales the online sales funnel can take the uh, the in person sales process and you have these tools that you can use that are uh, similar to uh, your real life. So on an online store, you don't have an actual salesperson there. So um, so if someone was to actually come into your physical store before they leave your store. You, your physical salesperson might be able to say, "Hey, before yeah. you leave, before you leave, here's uh, did you know about this? Yeah, or, or did you find what you were looking for in store today? You know, how can we help you? Yeah, yes, yes. And those there are these little tools that we can use online to give us the same uh, yeah. effect. And I yeah, love the same that. experience. Yeah, yes, yes. I love that. That's neat. That's neat. I love. <laughs> I could talk. Yeah. yeah, I could talk about marketing all day. Oh, I, I love marketing, and you know, putting your spin on marketing, I think, is the most fun part of of the whole, you know, game. I I just I love it. And so when I when I stumbled upon interactive marketing, I just knew that this was it for me because you know I talk a lot on my podcast about you know knowing your customer, knowing your avatar, and a lot of people get bored by just the term avatar, but and it's the it's known as the unsexy part of marketing, but it's the fundamental. It's like it's the most important part of marketing. And the thing is, people mm-hmm. don't realize that it's not just about the avatar, it's not just about your target audience, it's about the data that you get from it. So yeah, while these videos are fun and interactive and all gamified, what mm-hmm. we're really doing on the back end is collecting data. 
what we're really doing is getting to know more of our buyers, know more about our buyers, more about our customers, and how we can basically potentially turn one customer into two, into three, through different methods, you know, like referrals or, you know, offers tailored to what they want. So when you're able to include interactive elements into your marketing, it just helps you know more about your customer and it helps you, you know, be make better offers, make better marketing decisions. And most of them are data driven, not just assumptions. So mm. yeah. Oh my gosh. You make one of the biggest points that I always talk to uh, my audience about. And it's it, it's funny because it's step one, but it's often overlooked. It's, uh, it's overlooked a lot of times and that's step one and that is your customer avatar. Yeah. Can you t- And you talk about, tell us a little bit more about how important this cus just how how important is this customer avatar? <laughs> well, I think it's the beginning and end of your business, right? So the term, the term itself, customer avatar, throws people off. So mm-hmm. if it makes anyone more comfortable, you can just use ideal client, your ideal customer, or your some people call it the whale customer, like the, the big box customer or the shark. Just I, I've, <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard it called your diamond client. Your diamond client, call it whatever you want to call it, but just understand the principles and the concept behind it. Okay. It's about okay. it's about knowing your marketplace. Like, okay, so who is that one person? You know where they say like you, you try to talk to everybody, you're talking to nobody. Yes. So it's narrowing down you know, who is that person that your ideal product, that your product is ideal for. So the way I like to think about it is in form of a hierarchy. So it starts with your big idea. You know, what's that big idea that you've got? What's that aha that you've got? What's that difference that you think you can make? And then the second step is who are you as a person? You know, are you introverted? Are you extroverted? Um, do you draw energy from others? Um, are you, you know, you're... so there's something called human design where it kind of tells you who you are as a person. Some people are generators, some people are manifestors. So mm. I, I, for example, I'm a manifesto. I draw energy from, you know, nature, just being out in nature, but not necessarily being around people. So some people might describe me as an introvert. So knowing myself, I would say, okay, you know, being around too many people might drain my energy. So having a mastermind, for example, might not be suited for me because, Mm. you know, it's just, it's not my, it doesn't suit my kind of energy. However, having a mini workshop with maybe 30 people is more suited for my kind of person. So when I understand the kind of person I am and the way I interact with others, then I would be able to define who my product is suited for and how I can best fulfill, you know, my products and my services to that person. Mm. So, Cause not, not everyone gets a product for the same reasons. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so people, so, so then the way I think about it further is, okay, I then need to define a profile of that person that's best suited for my product. And then, you know, there's always this templates that people have online, you know, you've probably filled one out, you know, most people have filled one out. They know why, they, they kind of have an idea of why they're filling it out, but they don't know how to implement it in their businesses. So basically you fill up this, you know, profile, template, whatever you want to call it, um, and just define to a, mi- to a micro niche who the person that you're targeting is. So is it an an executive? Is it a CEO? Is it, you know, a, a high income business, um, a high income earner? Define the, should I say, mega niche of, that, of who that person is. And then you start to drill deeper into the micro niche of that person. So basically you are, going shifting more away from the demographics more to the psychographics so how does the person think what languages does the person use where does the person hang out you know what what sorts of books do they read what sorts of magazines do they read 
and wow, you go into you go deep. You have to go deep. You have to go deep, and I'll tell you where that how that translates. So when you when you basically define this profile, you get onto the next stage of your offer, right? So you're creating an offer. You then go back to your profile and say, okay, what are the pain points that this person has? So there could be pain points related to their personal life. There could be pain points related to a passion that they have. So for example, golfing is a passion of someone, but mm -hmm. they may have a pain point. So if your niche is golf, for example, they may have a pain point that, you know, is related to golf. So maybe there are a pop, I'm not a golfer, but a popular example is like they're left-handed or something and they shoot with it with the left hand. So you've written that as a pain point for that particular customer of yours or potential customer of yours. So you then create an offer around a left-handed golfer who has X, 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 Y, Z problems. But then when you're creating that offer, the kind of language that you use is based on that profile. The kind of um offers that you create or bonuses that you create as part of your offers is based on that profile so basically everything that that person that you've written for that person as a pain point as a frustration as a challenge as a source of joy as a source of pain everything then goes into your offer and into your copy so when you are running your ads or when you are going to Facebook to organically get customers or clients, you know the exact kind of person that you're looking for. You know the exact Facebook groups that they're going to be in. You know the exact kind of questions to ask, you know the kind of posts that you're going to put up that will basically attract that person. Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to do is to attract the person to you, not necessarily chase because people would run further away from you when you chase them. So when you're able to define them and then use the language that attracts them to you, it mm -hmm. all of a sudden makes your marketing so much easier because ah. you go from the person who's chasing yes. to the person who's attracting just mm. because you're speaking their language. That's so you, you literally just hit the nail on the head and speak the language. And when you speak that language with that pain point, you uh -huh. pretty much attract them to you. And that's the whole- Magnetically. Like, it's magnetic, pretty much. In 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 a, <laughs> in a short term, it's magnetic. That's that's the whole essence of knowing your customer avatar. It's like uh, Anne Marie. If I if or if I was saying, hey Julie. Exactly, you're calling them out by name. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You're, you're calling you're, them out by the pain point, and you know people yeah. run away from pain than towards pleasure so when you're calling them out by their pain points and they think you can potentially help them you're attracting them to you and in terms of so people say it's theory but it is this theory that works okay when you try it when you do it and you get even one person one person that gets attracted to you just because of that what you're going to do is get even more data from that person because when that person buys from you and you have interactive elements inside of your funnel to get more information about that person, then you're able to understand that sort of customer even more. And it, it's what Facebook will call a lookalike audience. You're then able to go out and attract more of that kind of person to your offers or to mm. your business. And that's simply based on data. And when they, so it's like if you're in the parenting business, for example, and you get a mom in that has two or three kids or that knows other moms, it's sort of a multiplier effect. So just getting even one person could be game changer for you because knowing that person so well that you speak the language, it then basically means that you could, you're going to attract more of that kind of person to you. And you know that person could be a source of referral to you that person could take up more of your offers because you know them so well you're able to basically design more offers that are suited to that kind of buyer you know you sell more to that customer and that way they become you know what we call a six what i call a six figure avatar so where you're basically able to turn ah. one customer into two into three you know and if you're an affiliate marketer for example and you have tools that that one customer would benefit from you know 
that customer is all of a sudden a source of multiple incomes to you because yeah. when you recommend that tool to them, they're able to, you get paid on the back of it as an affiliate income. Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh, I see, I can see a six, six figure. <laughs> uh, you think about just to make six figures, if, you, if you've got, if you're attracting uh, a thousand like-minded people that are all going to resonate with your message and you're closing at just a mere uh let's say five six percent on a on a even a two three thousand dollar uh offer yeah offer, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah a two three thousand dollar offer you're clocking at least you're making at least about 10k 10k a month you can easily make 10k a month easily and, that, and and based mm -hmm. on you know, based on your funnel, you know, you can then funnel those ten percent further down, and then you may get just three percent that take up your even higher end offer. And at the end of the day, it all boils down again to you. So, for example, you might decide I only want to work with five people. You call them, you know, your diamond clients. You only want five diamond clients, and you want to get to six figures. It's like okay, that means you probably need a twenty k offer. Right, so when you define that avatar, that diamond client, what can you then do on the back of that to basically add so much value that they're able to pay you, you know, your asking fee? It may not be one offer, it might be across two, three, four different offers, but at the end of the day, they're still worth that much to you just because you started with a profile of that person and then you basically broke it down into such micro niches that you can then offer micro targeted offers to that person and you know just get your yeah. income up from there that's awesome that's awesome and then you go you go deep in that avatar because as soon as you solve one problem immediately 10 more problems need to be solved exactly and it immediately 10, 10 more problems need to be solved. So if someone wants to, let's say they want to learn how to uh, sell in a uh, in an in, uh, in-person environment and they've, they've practiced and they're great on stage, now what problem do they have? Now they need to be able to book appointments. They need to be able to find uh, people to bring to their events. Yeah. They need to find event spaces. They need um, to be able to put. So they need to be able to put bots on their seats of the events. They need to be able to get people to those events. Yeah. So yeah. So it's like you you basically have the whole customer life cycle that you can solve. So it's not you find out that it's not about going wider. It's about uh, going deeper. Uh, and that's what the tribe like secrets that. is all about. You know, like that's your that. tribe. You don't need like everybody that. to be your tribe. Say you know. that again. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not about going wider, it's about going deeper. You know, that's, oh, that's what, yes. think about it. That's what the funnel actually is. It's like, yeah, you just go deep, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just go deeper with your tribe. And, you know, those are the people you serve and you love them hard. And you were at Funnel like, Hacking Life this year, weren't you? Yes. And it's, it's kind of what Ke Kelly Paul, Paul said, you know, it's uh -huh. basically just asking you know what do you want what do you want what do you want how can it so she's not necessarily looking for more people she's just looking for how can she best serve the people that she already has yeah, and guess yeah. what happens on the back of that when you serve them you know harder and you love them harder they bring people to you because they, they, they talk about you they're like oh i had this experience here i think you should try it out you know, you automatically get referrals just because you are giving your best and you're making a transformation, you know, in someone's life or in a group of people's lives. And then, you know, that way you get more people because they talk about you. So it's it's a ripple effect, but it starts with just that one thing, knowing right. who you want to serve. Right. Is this what you go over in your workshops every month? Oh yes, yes. So we go we go deep into the, the the techniques to this. There there's about six methods that I go through in the workshop. Um, it's over two. So it's usually a two day workshop. So over two How many days, days. Two days. Two days. Okay. Yeah. So it's an hour and a half on each day, 
and we basically go through the exercises on how to on defining this person and then drawing like a customer journey map on how you are going to get that one person and multiply them so it's like a multiplication effect or duplication effect where you, you create your customer journey and how on how and basically at different stages of the customer's journey with you what can you sell them what sort of offers can you create how 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 can you serve them more how do you appear and show up credible like an expert and how do you prescribe rather than you know chase so uh, there's just uh. different techniques that you know i take people through in the workshops and you know it's it's amazing because people learn a lot of things that you know they they've just never heard before and mm. Thing. Mm. and you know it's immediately implementable in your business they're not like abstract stuff it's stuff that you can immediately go on away and you know look okay this is the offer i have now or you know this is the offer i have coming up how can i tailor my offer to a specific kind of person to get maximum res results yes yes and i hear that your students are winning Oh, your oh, absolutely! Winning, <laughs> absolutely. They are winning. They're I've heard they're coming out of your class with a clear picture of how to communicate with crystal. Yeah, crystal clear how to communicate with uh, their customers. Whereas before, they 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 weren't getting the same responses, and I yeah. love it. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, and and they they basically because they have a different. It's like a shift. It's like a paradigm shift in how they actually view a customer, because you know they come in looking at a customer as you know a generic term. Or but when when they leave the workshop, it's it's a shift as to how they look at every buyer of their offer and how you know they they see every buyer as potentially two, three, or even more buyers for them. And, you know, it's sort of, so rather than building, you know, multiple streams of income, they're basically layering their offers and building a business ecosystem where even though a customer comes in or a buyer comes in from one part of the funnel, they're able to connect the different offers, you know, mm -hmm. from different other parts of, of their funnels and just serve this customer at a deeper level. Ah. There you go. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Oh my it gosh. Quite I wish exciting. <laughs> I wish we had more time to talk, but uh, what we'll do is we'll leave some information uh, for anyone that wants to take advantage of that workshop. If you said it happens once a month yeah. um, and uh, hopefully um, I'll definitely have you on sometime again in the future to go even more in depth and maybe yeah. uh maybe you could teach uh something uh along the lines of absolutely taking, yeah taking through uh a step for actually pinpointing that uh customer avatar but but now um uh i just want to uh to let you have uh we have about a minute left okay so, uh, <laughs> so uh just uh uh final words let us know where to contact you and uh and leave us with some final words about uh, your customer acquisition and what's one key word or one key important phrase that uh, that they can take with them that will uh, help them on that uh, that first important step. Absolutely. So um, basically, you can find you can listen to my podcast. My podcast is called the Tribe Secrets Podcast. Um, I release a new episode every week. Um, sometimes it's just me talking, or I interview people who've done this before, and you can basically hear the secrets. I'm on Facebook as well. Um, Anne Mary Benner. You can find me on Facebook. And um, so I just one word I'd like you to think of, or two words uh, <laughs> would be the multiply effect. So when you are designing that person that you want to sell to always think multiply effect how can i multiply one person to two people to three people in my business um yeah <laughs> <laughs> awesome multiplier effect reach more people with less effort i love it perfect that's I it i love it that's it <laughs> more people with less effort all right so uh, thanks for uh, tuning in today. Um, appreciate it. Um, I'll have all our information somewhere around this video and we'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks for having me. Bye.
Are you an entrepreneur that either has an online business or wants to start one? If so, you've probably found out quickly that selling online is not as easy as it seems. I mean, here we are in the greatest time ever to have an online business. You see others crushing it, but you're still struggling to get even just a few sales. Well, with all that's available to you, if you're not getting sales, followers, and engagement on social media, then you're doing something very wrong, and you need to get this under control quickly. If you don't, you could be wasting years of your life before you see any results, and you'll be missing out on the greatest, easiest free sales opportunity in history. It's not your fault, and luckily for you, I've built a six-figure business online, and I've made all the mistakes so you don't have to, and I've created a five-day digital product mastery challenge. The mission of this challenge is to empower you, to inspire you, and to provide you, the entrepreneur, with all the resources you need to execute on your vision and have the impact and ultimately serve the people you were called to serve at the highest level. In this five-day challenge, you'll discover resources that you already have, turn those resources into an offer, and go out and make that offer in the marketplace and get paid. You'll find your ideal customer, create an irresistible offer they can't refuse, build an automatic sales machine to convert your ideal customers, and cha-ching, collect payments. I run this challenge once a month, so just head on over to thementalmarketer.com forward slash digital product mastery and sign up for the challenge or you can text digital product mastery to 678-506-7543 that's digital product mastery all one word to 678-506-7543 you'll get a text back immediately with a direct link to sign up or just check my facebook profile i run this challenge every month and my profile cover will show the dates and times i go live every day inside of the group there are interviews with other online millionaires special guests free audio courses and swipe files prizes and giveaways and a bunch of cool stuff i want to see you in there find the link around this video or text me let's go